Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker and members. I appreciate all of the effort that has put into this bill. It has been put into this bill by the governor's office, by my fellow lawmakers, by the staff, and many other stakeholders to achieve laudable goals. However, considerable effort and good intentions do not necessarily lead to sound policy when a principal beneficiary of that policy has an egregiously bad record on public safety and corporate stewardship. Yesterday, the Wall Street Journal published a reminder to all of us of PG&E's litany of neglect of its obligations to maintain its infrastructure. The article detailed PG&E's willful neglect of transmission line equipment that ignited the campfire last November and how there are many other lines, including the Ignacio Mare Island line that extends through Marin County that is part of the same Carabo Valona system with towers dating back to 1921 that are in serious need of repair and PG&E has known about it, but those repairs have been postponed time and again. In fact, PG&E pr first proposed work on the Marin Line, an extraordinarily fire-prone region of the county in 2014, and this work has yet to commence. These towers are as old as 98 years, similar to the tower that failed in the campfire resulting in 85 deaths. They knew, pg and knew, and they did nothing. The failure of these lines is not a potential catastrophe waiting to happen. It is a catastrophe that will happen. pg and record of neglect proves this out. You'd think after 2017, pg and &E would have woken up to the danger and substantiated fears that future fires caused by neglect could cost the lives of many more. How could they not? How could they not? You'd think that after the nightmare explosion that killed eight people in San Bruno in 2010, that it would have been the event that highlighted the need for a newfound respect for safety for underground infrastructure by PG&E. However, earlier this year, my attention was drawn to a PUC report on PG&E's malfeasance regarding the location of its subsurface pipelines for excavation crews to operate safely at construction sites. Former PUC Commissioner Catherine Sandoval called the report's findings disgusting and deeply appalling. Eight people died in that explosion back in San Bruno and they still didn't fix their problems. The report prompted me to introduce AB 1166, which this House passed this year, to bolster the pipeline location notification process. We should do the same to bolster transmission line safety. We should do the same. Members, I hope the disgraceful past of public safety neglect and the murder of innocent lives is not a prologue to further pg and &E related devastation. It is hard not to see this bill as something of a reward for monstrous behavior. They haven't done the work. They should not be rewarded. Our efforts should make public safety paramount. If we are to entrust this bill with being a cornerstone of true change for the better, let it absolutely be the last time you do if that change does not occur, I certainly will not. My vote is no.